I'll race a motorcycle, I'll race a car, I'll race anything. As long as I'm strapped into something going really fast. You can get up in the morning and enjoy what you're doing. Nothing really matters. And for me, that's racing. I'm an accountant who's an adrenaline junkie. If it wasn't for racing, I would go crazy. This series gives young drivers the chance to start their professional motorsports career. We want to see if they have what it takes to be the next Michael Schumacher. We want to be in Formula One. We want to be in open wheel. I'll drive a pizza delivery truck at night if I have to, to help get him to the next level. This is going to be a battle. Right now, a second does nobody any good. There's no forgiveness on this track. I don't know how nobody got hurt today. This is the last year I can race if I don't win the championship. We're not talking about a trophy and a pat on the back at the end of the series. We're talking about 100 grand. It's the opportunity to make a career for yourself and risk everything. Jetta TDI Cup is a series that we have brought to the U.S. so we can really develop and help young drivers accelerate their dream of becoming a professional race car driver. Today it is the driver's selection for 2009. The event is designed to take over 3,900 applications and find the top young racing professionals in North America based on their talent and skill level across a variety of disciplines. We've got go-karting, we've got an autocross course, We've got written testing on racing skills, and then we make a decision on the final 30 drivers for the season. In random order, 2009 Dark Selection, AJ Dealey. I have just about sold everything to come here. I sold the truck, sold the trailer, sold the motorcycle to get to this point, and I just hope we can keep the momentum forward as we go through the season. Teresa Condon. There's definitely a little more pressure because you feel like you have to represent a whole population of women drivers, but I think the best way to deal with that is just on the track. Eric Morse. It's an honor to be here. We're going to be competing against some of the guys that were here from last year. Top dogs like Mark and Andy and everybody else. It's going to be a great experience. Every car is identical. We maintain the cars. We're the ones that make the changes to the cars. That really gives the drivers at their young careers now to fully concentrate on driving. Driving a turbo diesel car is a little bit different for me. It's extremely torquey and powerful. It's also extremely efficient. We're running the entire season of races on two tanks of gas, and there's not any race car out there that I know of that can come close to that. Clean diesel engines is one of the forefronts of green technology in the car industry today. We're not at a point where we're, we can all be out there driving hydrogen fuel cell cars yet, but we're here showcasing it to the world as a performance option that's still green. We're burning B5 biofuel. It's pretty cool to be saving fuel and having good emissions on the car as well as being racing. During the course of a season, the drivers accumulate points. The person with the most points at the end of the season wins the championship. And then what they get is a $100,000 check from Volkswagen to continue their racing careers into the future. We're into our second season, and I think it really helps having some of last year's drivers here. They understand that if they want to win a championship, we got to finish all the races. There's going to be five or six fast guys from last year, and everybody's going to know who the rookie is. Yep. So, yeah. I think we should put X's on there. Back yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They kept my same number, huh? Suit's a little tighter than it was last year. I don't know if it's me or not. Mark Pombo did a good job last year, really good job, but he was unlucky in a few races. Now they're side by side. There's another incident, and the number 20 car of Pombo goes sideways and into the tire. If I would have finished Portland last year and where I was with two laps to go, I would have won the points championship. Going into work after you blew $7,500 in a two-second crash and working for a week and making $500 can be pretty downing. The company I work for is a tax consulting firm. We do a lot of state and local tax consulting. The branch of the company that I work in is the motor fuels tax area. We go in for uh, large consumers of motor fuel and try to find tax savings for them. I love this job. I work for a great company, but I'm just like anybody else. I have things that I live for. I'm an accountant who's an adrenaline junkie. Go figure. If it wasn't for racing, I would go crazy. Later, Trey. I'll see you there. Yep. You know, this year has been an interesting year. There's a lot of expectations on him and a lot of pressure. I think once he straps in, 
gets everybody out of the way and he can focus on what he needs to do, that'd be fine. Even though I didn't win last year, I had some people that were saying, hey, what do you have to prove? Now if you don't win, you kind of look like maybe it wasn't as good as we thought. The talent is there, the ability is there, but when you have expectations built around you, that's just something that you have to manage mentally. It's part of the total package of being a race car driver. Well, it's race day. Let's get this year off to a really roaring start where everybody finishes the race, everybody comes in shiny side up, and hopefully most of you with a smile on your face. This is a double race weekend. We purposely put the first two races to pay half points so you can get acclimated to driving these cars, get acclimated to driving with each other, and understand what the series and the concept is about. I know I've said it many times, but today is not the day that you're going to win the championship, but you can lose it. If that means giving up a place or even two places in turn one, then that's the smart thing to do. That's what you got to do. Right before the race, you never want to race, you know. You want that first lap to be over as quickly as possible. We're going to try to work together. We're going to try to get to the front, but nothing ever really goes to plan. It's getting dark and we are underway with the first race of the 2009 Jetta TDI Cup. I didn't know what to expect. In the driver briefs, I mean, all the guys were stressing, just give it up in turn one. You're not going to win a championship in the first turn of the first race of the season. I think a lot of people got that through their heads. Everyone was extremely clean. It really started the season on a great note. I was up front and I actually led race one. Made a big mistake all by myself. Rookie error, I'll call it. Every track has little tricks. When you have a zillion laps at a track, it makes a big difference. This year, they've changed some stuff. Some of the apexes have been grounded out and made it a little more abrupt. As a new driver, it's hard to tell. Well, that's why I was really impressed with Atterbury. Joey's kind of one of those guys you're a little jealous of. You know, I've been racing a lot longer than he has. He comes out and kind of shows you up at the first race. Coming across the finish line, it's going to be Joey Atterbury in the number 14 Red Bull car. Rookie driver, AJ Neal, will be second, and Tweet Bigginbar, third. This is really a dream come true for me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> How about one more thing? Thank you. Joey Atterbury, your new star here in Volkswagen in the TDI Cup. Those guys definitely have experience on me, and experience is what counts. Hopefully, I can come out and do the same thing we did here everywhere we go. Race two, I was just anxious for a chance to do it right. At that time when I got out to the lead, I wasn't thinking about trying too hard and was a lot more calm in the car and running my own race. And hold for second race, running one, two, three the whole race. was a big lean change between me, Mark, and Jake. Made a mistake. I feel like I should have known better, but I just tried to roll too much speed. My left front tire just barely dipped into the dirt and there was nothing I could do. And only Jake Thompson, the rookie from Calgary, takes the checkered flag. Mark Thompson to second, Taylor Brookmeyer will take third. Let's say hello to Jake Thompson! This is my first ever car race this weekend. I just moved up from go-karts, so this has all been new to me, and I've been out there doing my best and learn as I go. Before the race started, I knew that I was a little bit off. Once I started to get overheated in the car, it just made me nauseous. I gotta get some water. For about the last three laps, it was getting really bad but I managed to hold it together with adrenaline. What are you doing, throwing up down the straightaway? Yes. Yeah. That's pretty nice. nice. Yeah. To a lot of people, it's probably disappointing. I'm content with the way things are, but you know, in the back of my head, I also feel the looks, like, what's, what's going on with you? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to not pay attention to it, but it's hard not to sometimes. All of a sudden, I'd see you coming on the inside, driving reckless. That's not legit racing. Here's how you make friends, and here's how you lose friends. There's not a lot of runoff room in some areas. If you lose control, you're going in the wall. 